Oh, I've got the sun in my face. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's nice. I feel like Stevie Wonder now. <laughs> You're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> this shirt's a bit tight, you know. It's you that's too fat. I'm not fat, the shirt's too small no, for me. No, it's you that's too fat. Look, you're holding it all in. I'm not holding it in. Well, breathe out, Give then. up, look, there's people watching. I don't care. Give up. Look, breathe out. You see, you know what your problem is, don't you? What? Too many pies. Too many pies? Yeah. Hola. Hola, and welcome to the channel. This is Mike and Yvonne, and today is the 9th of November. It's 21 degrees, although it's a lot warmer in the sun, and uh, we're having a nice time today on our sun terrace. Yeah. And Yvonne's going to tell you all about what's going to happen next. If you watched our last video, mm -hmm. you'll have seen that we took you around our area of Altos del Liminar, yeah. showing you the bars, shops and restaurants. Mm -hmm. But today, Ooh. we're going to show you our little casa. A tiny, tiny, tiny little house. And to see what other things there is in this area. <laughs> Now then, I don't like these steps too much because uh, every time we go out on the bikes, I've got to carry both bikes up these steps when we get back. So it usually leaves me a little bit uh, out of breath on us. <laughs> and this is where we keep the bikes. This is where they live. In the daytime. And here we've got table and chairs where we can sit out in the morning. It's lovely and sunny. Sit out here with a coffee. Yeah. Aren't we? So here we have the seating area where we relax and watch our TV. Oh, look what's on. That looks familiar. And then? And then this is our secret stash of gin Ooh. and everything else. Mercadona. Looking a bit full at the moment because we went shopping full. the other day. Mm. Then over here on this little table is where all the magic happens on this computer. Editing, 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 editing. And then through to the kitchen, where I spend a lot of my time feeding mm. the man. With pies and mushy peas and chips. This is where the pies go. And this is a new kitchen when we moved in. We had a wall here which we knocked down because you could hardly see through the little hatch there. So we were opened it all up. New kitchen units, new cooker. We've had a new fridge freezer. A new microwave and a new boiler. Shall we go have a look at the solarium? Ah, yeah, but let's get a couple of beers first. Ah. There you go, you know. Oh, you know that one. Oh, it's nice and sunny up here. Lovely, isn't it? Whoa, wow, it's nice. It's warm. Let's look at our lovely view. So there's the view of, uh, from our terrace, or from our solarium, and our terrace. Although it's a little bit higher up here and we can see uh, La Jolla. Right above there, you can see the music theatre in the distance on the horizon. You can see the hospital on the horizon. And uh, that's our view. It's not a spectacular view, but it's nice. We like it. And what um, is that road? That road is a CV905. Sometimes we uh, al fresco up here, don't we? We do. We'll have al fresco. And uh, that's your favourite spot, isn't it? Cheers. Soaking up the sun. I don't sit here and soak up Sat the sun. Sat next to your best friend. Who's my best friend? That satellite dish. That's your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> 
And there, a couple of sunbeds there. What could be better? What could Watch be nicer? <laughs> Ooh, I've just crashed into this. Just crashed into the dish. I tell you what, it's making me hungry. This dish. Shall we have some soup. <laughs> On this side, we've got the famous washing machine, which was carried up all those steps by those guys from uh, Carrefour all those months ago. And somebody did say it wasn't uh, protected, but it is housed in a nice little box. There it is. That keeps all the rain off. And it's like that all oh, year. A lot of people in Spain have the washing machines on the solarium. And as long as it's got a cover, it's perfectly normal. We have also got this big storage facility in here with uh, lots of things in there. Oh, we've got another fridge. And some bits and bats and plenty of room to put uh, whatever Yvonne does with the gardening stuff and pots and pans and what have you. <laughs> I don't put my pots and pans pots in there. Pots and pans are in the kitchen out there. And then around this side, there's the view from the other side. That's where the sun sets. We get some nice sunsets down there. Uh, but there, these are quads. So we back on to two more properties because uh, we're at the front quad. Uh, so we can see the uh, solarium from the other quads. But it's quite private. The walls are quite tall. So we don't feel like we're being watched all day if we're in here. Yeah, I don't want to move now. Can well, I stop here while you finish? We've got to short rest at house yet. Can't I stop here? No. It's sunshine. We want to see bathroom and... I want to see sunshine. He's gone now, sunshine. No, it hasn't. Look at it. A recent development is the announcement regarding the plans to build new properties on land known as La Jolla. La Jolla is directly opposite Altos del Liminar on the other side of the CV905 by the Hyperbur roundabout. As reported in the Euro Weekly, after almost 20 years in the pipeline, Torre Vieca's La Jolla development plans have been given the go-ahead. Although the development was approved, there were several parties that abstained. 7,490 properties housing approximately 20,000 people will occupy 1.8 million square metres of unbuilt land between San Luis El Chaparral Urbanisation, La Mata and Torre Vieca Lagoons and the N332 bypass. Torre Vieca's mayor Eduardo Dolon says the project had received prior approval from the regional governments. And here just off the lounge, there's the lounge. We've got the master bedroom. And we can see there, it's not a bad size. It's got a nice window looking out to the front. And it's got fitted wardrobes. It's even got a safe. And this is our second bedroom, which is the guest room, which we've not had any guests for a couple of years because of the pandemic. So we miss you, you know who you are. This is our tiny, tiny bathroom. Functional, everything's here that you need. There we go. And we've got a tiny bath and a shower. We are going to modernise this. I think at some point we're going to have a walk-in shower probably because the bath is virtually useless. It's just too small. Yeah, so that's the tour of our house. Um, our little casa, our little place in the sun. Um, if you want to see what else we've got in the area, like our pool and our uh, exercise area, yeah. what else have we got? And the playground. The playground. We've got a patank actually over there. It's not ours, but we use it and it's, it's brilliant. So if you want to see that, let's have a look. This is our lovely swimming pool area, which belongs to our urbanisation. And for that, we pay 87.30 every six months and we get the swimming pool, we get street lighting, street cleaning, we get a lovely football area across there. And what else do we get? We get a really nice exercise park. You know, and I'm up at six o'clock every morning on that exercise thing. Anna. Yeah, right. Come on then. I can't. Come on. I can't, you're too heavy. You're supposed to go up and down I like can't, that. you're too heavy. You've got to push. Shall I give this a go? Go on then. Oh, it's high. Is it too high for you? You don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't like heights. I'm going back down. Oh. Woo! It's exciting. Isn't it good? And oh. the horses. There's our pool there with a green hedge, as you can see. So it's only a short walk to the Patank. 
Um, it's not in our urbanisation, but it's just across the road, and it might as well be, because we can play on here if we want. And uh, it's just a patent ball's throw away from our swimming pool. And they have tournaments on here sometimes, don't they? Mm, I think every Saturday morning, is it? I don't, I'm not quite sure. I but don't know uh, when it is. On a regular basis, they have tournaments. And uh, a lot of expats play, some good teams. It's nice to just come and sit and watch them. Mm. This is a little kiosk cafe on Altos de Liminar. It's just over the road from the Patanka. Sells food and drink. Great for uh, the Patank players. They can come and have a beer after the game, can't they? Yeah. Well, that's just about it. If you've enjoyed having a look around, see what we've got in this area, having a look at our little casa. If you looked at the episode last week, I'm sure you'll recognise the mint plant we bought at um, Bazaar Beijing for one euro fifty. Yeah, and I've used it in salads. On that note, I think it's time to wrap the video. So I think what we'll do is we'll go open the oh. Oh. and <laughs> splash. Um, on that note, it's time to wrap the video. So it's a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. So thumbs down if you haven't enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Bing. Bing. Adios. Adios.